Welcome to Wise Guys. So today I'm going to give you tutoring session about writing formulas for covalent compounds. Writing formulas for covalent compounds, there are three steps. The first step is to identify both nonmetals. This is the most important. So both elements are nonmetals. And then second, write the symbols. The third is write the subscript matching the given prefix. Because for covalent compound, when we naming the covalent compound, we put prefix to match the subscript, right? The subscript and the prefix, we follow a table. Let's do a little bit review. This is the prefix. From the prefix, we can see The subscript is the one matching prefix mono, but now we are doing opposite, which is writing formula. So we given the name, so which is given the prefix, then you need matching using the subscript to matching prefix. For that, you give a mono and write the one. If die is two, try. Three. If prefix is four, a uh, prefix is tetra, then you write the prefix as four. Penta, five. Hexa, matching six. Hepta, given hepta, write down seven. Given octa, write down eight. Given nona, subscript is nine. Deca is ten. And also, same thing, if the prefix is mono, so we write the one, but the one, you don't need to write the one. But also, the first element, we don't, even if it is one, we don't need to put mono. That's why no prefix, that means in the first element, that means it's one element. Okay? So now, you are clear with how write the subscript matching the given prefix. So before we have practice, uh, do practice question, uh, first I give you example. For example, the name is, let's say, for example, we have a carbon monoxide, given this name, Write down the formula. Carbon, so C, right, because identify both carbon and oxi oxygen are no metal. The second step, write the symbol. Carbon is C, oxygen is O. And write the subscript matching the given prefix. The carbon, no prefix. And also, this is the first element, that's why it's one. So, if it's a one element, we also you don't need to write the one. No subscript means one. No prefix means one. Okay. And the oxygen is mono, which is one oxygen. So one, we don't need to write the one. That's why this is the formula for carbon monoxide. CO is the formula for carbon monoxide. The other example we can say if it is a carbon, dioxide. Then both are no metals. And the carbon, we write the carbon, oxygen, oxygen. And the first element, the carbon, no prefix, that means one, subscript is one. We don't need to write the one. And oxygen, dioxygen, that means two oxygen. That's write the two, the subscript is two. That's why the write the subscript to matching the given prefix di. So this is the formula for carbon dioxide. 
Next, let's do some practice question. If you already understand, you can pause the video, try by yourself, and later you can and uh, continue watching to see if you are right. The first one is dihydrogen monosulfide. Dihydrogen, so first write the both the hydrogen and the sulfur both are non-metal. And the di, so hydrogen, first write the hydrogen, sulfur, the di means two hydrogen, so write the subscript, matching the prefix. And mono means one, so one sulfur, so that's why we don't need to write the one. As long as one element, we don't need to write. So the dihydrogen monosulfide is H2S. The second, diphosphorus pentaoxide. Phosphorus, oxygen, both are non-metal. Di, we write phosphorus is P, oxygen O, and di means two phosphorus. So these two is subscript matching the prefix, given pre prefix. Oxygen and penta, this is di, this is penta, means five. So we write the five oxygen, five subscript matching the prefix. So the formula diphosphorus pentaoxide is P2O5. The third one, nitrogen try bromide. Nitrogen is no metal, bromine is no metal. So we write nitrogen, bromine, and the nitrogen, no prefix, means one nitrogen, right? One we don't need to write the one. And the try means three. So write subscript three, matching the prefix tri. So nitrogen tri bromide formula is NBr3. Four, sulfur hexafluoride. Sulfur is S, no metal. Fluoride, fluorine is no metal as well. Sulfur, the no prefix means one. We don't need to write the one. Hexa means six. So write down the subscript matching the prefix. So SF6 is sulfur hexafluoride. So if you need more practice, so you can go to my blog at Ming's House, blogsrc.ca slash Ming. You can find worksheet in chemistry. Okay, this is presented by Wise Guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.